In this tutorial video, we will learn how to use the Google Chart object. First, let's start decoding the HTML file. I created a header using the header keyword in the body section. I created an object using the keyword div and set an ID. Using this ID, we can access the object in the JavaScript file. We need to transfer the required Google library to the project. I copied the completed version of the project to the Turtle Code GitHub account. I will share the address with you in the description of the video. Copy the line of the code that starts with the keyword script and paste it into the body section. Now I can use the library on the web page in the SRC section in the project. I will use the keyword script to synchronize the JavaScript file that I will use in the project with the HTML file. I don't need the CSS file for this project. We have completed the HTML code file. Let's start coding the JavaScript file. I will transfer the Google library using the keywords current, packages and core chart. After this process, I can start using the library fully. I create a function with the function name specified in the set on load function. I created a variable to add the object in the chart object. I can add objects with the data table function that I use in the variable. I want to make a chart object that will show the activities done in a day. I added the data work, eat, tv, gym and sleep to the chart object. The numbers given represent hours spent during the day. Notice that the sum of all activities is 24. Adding data to the chart object is complete. I will create a variable and set the object's title and physical properties in this variable. I will create another variable and synchronize the pie chart object created in the HTML file with the getElementById function. I can use the draw function using the Google keyword in the created variable. I will pass two parameters to the draw function. The first parameter represents the data added to the chart object. The second parameter represents the physical properties of the object. I have completed the project. After saving the HTML and JavaScript code files, run the HTML file to test it. In this tutorial video, we learned how to use the Google Chart object. You can transfer all these and other projects to your computer for free from GitHub account and watch tutorial videos on YouTube channel.